Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome back to our trading post today. And we are now on our third day in Cactusville. And we have been learning about Joseph and how we are called to forgive. Joseph was able to forgive his brothers even if they hurt him before. It's indeed not easy, but like what our verse says, God will forgive us if we know how to forgive others. So at this moment, I have here Ashlyn who will help us with our craft for today. Say hi again, Ashlyn. Hi. Okay. And before we start uh, with our craft, let us not forget to wash our hands. Or if you have sanitizer at home, uh, make sure to use it so that your art will not uh, become uh, messy or will not become smudgy. So let's wash our hands, Ashley. Okay. And as, as before we proceed with our craft this afternoon, let us be reminded of our action point for today, which is we are called to forgive. So Ashley, I will say we are called and you will respond called to forgive. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We are called called to forgive. Yeeha! So this afternoon we will make a sunset art project and you can see it here on my left side on how it will look like. So first we will need uh, to wear our apron. We are wearing our aprons but if you don't have you can use any old shirt that you have or you can ask mom and dad if they have any old shirt that they don't use and they can give it to you so that your dress will not be spoiled with the paints that you will use later. So first we have to make sure that we have our cactus and uh, coyote cutouts. So we have shared some templates but if you don't have and you cannot print it at home or you don't have a printer at home, you can just draw it. So this is how they look like. And then, if you don't have a black colored paper, you can also like color it only with crayon or color pencils. And next is we have our canvas. Okay, so this is where we will have our painting. Uh, but if you don't have a canvas, you can use your sketch pad or any uh, regular paper. And next we have our paints and paint brushes, of course. So these are our paints and paint brushes. And just a small tip, if you do if you're going to use the canvas, if you're going to use the canvas, make sure that uh, you use acrylic paints because if you will use uh, watercolor, it it's uh, once it gets drier and drier, it will start to peel off. But if you will use just the regular paper, a watercolor, a water-based color will be okay. So now we will proceed with our uh, painting. So first is we will have to paint a yellow color with a rounded shape on top, like how you can see now on the table. Uh, this will be served as your sun. And next is we will uh, paint the, the rays. And while she's doing that, uh, I will also, you can also start cutting your cactus and coyotes if you haven't cut them out yet. And if you don't have a black colored paper, uh, you can color it or otherwise you can paste this on a black paper uh, or glue, we can use the glue. So that it will have the silhouette effect in our sunset art. Okay, we put this aside so that you can see. There you go. Then you start to cut it out. So I will cut it out while Ashlyn is uh, mixing her paint for the sunset color effect on the painting, which is a mix of red and yellow, right Ashlyn? So when you use your scissors, make sure that you ask help from mom and dad so for safety purposes. Okay. 
so you can do the same with your coyote if you don't have it on black color or if you don't have the again if you don't have the black colored paper you can also color it with the crayon or pencil color pencil whatever is available in your house okay so I will also do the while Ashlyn is still painting I will also do this black color here that you will put at the base of your painting so depending on what size of the canvas you're using you can use uh, you can make the size of your black paper or if you don't have a black paper and if you have enough uh, black paint you can do the same to make this uh, black color here so we will we, this is where we will put it later so we will keep it aside for now all right for your painting uh, it might take time to dry but you can use a uh, hair dryer if you have at home you can ask permission from your mom or dad or from your older sister or brother if you can use their hair dry blower to make the your painting dry faster but if you don't have then you can keep it aside and then you can uh, wait till it gets dry so after Ashlyn paints the the sun rays with the orange and yellow mixture she will start doing the the clouds here make sure you have also a glass of water or bowl plastic bowl whatever you have at home to be able to use to wash your paint brushes especially if you need to change colors of the paint so she's washing now the brush because she will start painting or mixing the paint for the cloud so uh, so the color of the cloud is sky blue as you can see and if you don't have a ready sky blue paint you can mix which colors Ashlyn blue, blue and white white so Ashlyn now will start to mix blue and white paint while she's painting the uh, mixing the color for sky blue I will show you now how to make this black base here on the bottom of our painting so we have to make sure that we will be able to form this uh, zigzag effect on the black color which is representing like the hills or mountains where the coyote is standing uh, you just need to tear it with your hands so you can do what you want on what your pattern will look like so just tear it like this all right that's nice clouds Ashlyn right so once it's dry so once our painting is dry we just need to put this black paper here at the bottom and make sure that it's just right below the sun rays and not covering the sun so you can glue it Ashley. can either use this liquid glue or you can also use the stick glue whichever is available at home so cover the bottom part like this all right so 
if you have any excess on the sides or on the bottom you can either cut it or you can also paste it on the canvas or or whatever or on the paper that you are using and after this we can now put our cactus cut out and our uh, coyote cut out on both sides of the side okay you can put one Ashlyn then I can put one I you can wait for it to dry before you put your cactus and coyote cutouts. All right. There you go. Show it, Ashley. See, this is now our sunset art uh, project. So whenever we see the sunset, it should be remind it should remind us of how. Uh, Joseph forgive his brothers and how we should forgive our brothers and sisters as well and again make sure to take picture of what you did and share it on the link that is now showing on your screen and don't forget our action point Ashlyn we are called to forgive are you ready we are called to forgive. Yeeha! Again, thank you very much, children, and I hope you enjoy our craft this afternoon and hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye!